G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while between videos. We've arrived here in Melton. Feels like we've been working here for ages. Doing our fourth straight job out here. Oh, as you can see, nice tight site. A heap of bricks. Boundary wall, again for the third straight time, but we're not complaining. As a job's a job at the moment, we'll take whatever we can get. Hope everyone's doing well. As you can see, it's going to be a tough situation trying to get the wheelbarrow through here. We started yesterday, I'll show you what we've done. We got virtually one side up the scaffold. Today we'll be working around the alfresco area and trying to work our way around the other side and do as much as we can. So, a good start to the day. Should be nice weather-wise. Hope everyone's doing good. Enjoy the video and we'll be making much more videos because I've just ordered a new computer so that should be coming in and yeah I should be able to get some more videos for you guys so enjoy this one guys So that's the first couple of hours, we've got this half the alfresco section up. We're just in the process of setting out for the next um, half of the, the house down the side. What we find at the moment is we're having heaps of cuts and heaps of panels not working bricks, especially with this particular company. So as you can see, you know, the windows actually don't have much gap in between uh, the studs and the windows, so we can't actually move this as well as the fact that it's already been plastered up. So what we're finding is our little panels are all working cuts. So they're cutting the first panel, cutting the second panel, cutting the third panel, and also a cut here in the fourth panel. So four little small panels that aren't working bricks also can't move the window to adjust in order to make work brick work. So it's pretty frustrating stuff, but at the same time, we'll just suck it up, we'll get them cut, um, I'll go measure out with Source. Source is the third hendo, by the way, that you might be seeing around the site. So there's three hendos um, together. I'm going to go measure them out and we'll get them cut so we can carry on laying.
it is it's a positive space. Um, people go there for inspiration, they go there for um, motivation, and they don't necessarily want to see too much negativity. So what we do is, yeah, we sprinkle it in. Positivity, love, travel, all the good stuff. season of grapes coming in to then produce wine and they always look for people that can help out during that time because it's a very busy time they had been doing hey, that for like three vintages in south australia before and you talk got the plan proof podcast on been listening experience. to a bit of minimalist this morning like, okay, what we're finding while we're working, working is if we, we play something just get our mind off the rigors of the day and the rigors and the stress of sort of laying bricks and all the frustrations that you can get from it. So what we've been doing is listening to a bit of the Minimalist podcast. I don't know if any of you heard of that before, but um, worth a listen. Uh, you've got to be sort of pretty open-minded about you know their way of living and gets you thinking sometimes. But um, yeah, so that's the Minimalist podcast. Go check them out. Um, they've got some good listens. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and thought I was, I'd do today is just give a little um, rundown on how to lay bricks if you're a beginner bricklayer out there. I get just a couple of tips that I've sort of learned along the way and, and a few tips that I would have uh, wish I had been advised when I first started learning bricks in order to become faster and a bit more efficient. So what we do is we get a bit of mud here, alright, 
Now this is one thing that I think obviously at the start there's going to be some times where you have to tap the brick down, okay? I mean, if you're using solid bricks, if you're using some firmer mud, you're going to have them times where you've got to have to tap the top of the brick in order to get it to align. Having said that, I reckon when trying to begin to lay bricks, what you want to do is minimalize, minimalize, if that's the word, the amount of usage and tap on the top of the, the brick. So what you want to do is Get a nice bit of mud. Firstly, make sure you've got plenty on the back, plenty on the front, okay? Because it's very important that you've got to keep the front down first. Otherwise, the front sinks under the line, the back sinks under the line first. You're gonna have problems, you have to re-lift the brick and then get some more mud at the back. But this would be my um, advice to you begin as a beginner. So make sure you've got high mud at the back and the front, okay? And the first thing you wanna do is push down on the front and get that to the line. As you can see here, I'm getting that just off the line there. It's not touching, as you can see, it's not touching. Right, bringing that down to the line first, and then you can adjust the back slightly and push that back. Okay, and then you scrape off your excess. So again, making sure we've got a lot of mud on our trout, put that down, so we cut it, making sure we've got a high bit of mud at the back there, same as the front. Again, a fair bit of mud on the, on the butter. And again, we're coming in, we're trying not to tap down on our trail, we're pushing down on the brick, just off the line there at the front. Scrape your excess, and again, you can then push down the back ever so slightly. And a good way to check, which I was taught, to make sure the brick's straight with the one underneath, using the very top of your tip of your trail, just checking like this. See that it's nice and smooth, it's not getting obstructed at all. You'll soon know whether your brick's leaning backwards because what you'll have when you go to do this, if you're leaning backwards, you go to do this, you'll get that touch there. Okay, and that's when you know your brick's leaning back. You'll need to pick up the brick again, put more down. So, again, plenty of mud on, pushing down the front, just off the line, like that. Scraping that mud. And if it requires a bit of a tap, we'll do so. But we want to get in the habit of not tapping the, the top of the brick down with the trail of your hand. Okay, that's just going to get you more fluent with just learning to just push it down the right amount of force with your hand. And there you go. So there's my tips. Wasn't plugged into the charger. Didn't charge my phone. So what are you going to do for lunchtime now? Put in a batch. <laughs> yeah. With no phone. So this is what we got done for the morning session. Did the three quarters of this wall and the old fresco. Started this one run over here. So far almost up to scaffold height. And made our way along with all these cuts. Don't know how many cuts we've done already this morning, but be a fair few. So that's it. Gonna head out, have something to eat. I think we've used about five or six bags, so maybe five or six hundred in for the day so far. Yeah, we're gonna have some lunch. Get back into it soon. Here he comes, fresh after a packet of Savoy's for lunch and spicy capsicum dip, the goat. So there we go, ready for the afternoon session. Let's kick it off. We're doing this run again. We'll time lapse it up. We'll get another four courses, so done, get it up.
Okay. Hey, get into him. Get into him. Get into him. Get into the sand. You, we'll you can't do it. Get into the sand. Get him into the sand, Brad. Get him into the sand, Brad. Get him in there. Here we go. Come on, you go on the sand, man. Come on. Oh, my head. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh! He got it. He's hit it. He's hit the head. Oh, he's hit the head of the pan. Oh, look at the head mark. <laughs> look at the boys having too much fun at work. I don't know about it. <laughs> Instant replay. Instant replay. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. That's the day. I'll take his around and show us what we got done because I'm pretty excited because we don't usually have productive days like we did today. So we started in the morning to the other half of this alfresco here. As you can see, got that bit up, that return there. And then the next couple of hours we made ourselves way our way down this side. This is where we had a heap of cuts as you can see, cut there, cut there. I reckon we counted about 120 cuts for the day, something like that. And then after lunch we got the rest of this up as well. So that's the two days in. We've actually got the whole thing up to scaffold height around there. We've just got this overhand garage to go, which is this is not going to be a fun one. This is the zero boundary that we've got to work with. We've got to lay bricks overhand like this. It's pretty nasty, but it seems to be pretty normal here in Melbourne on these tight little slabs sites. And then we've just got this front panel up. So that was a pretty good day. Tomorrow we'll come, do the front up. We could call that. And we'll starting the overhand garage as well thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment down below give us some ideas and subscribe for more we'll see you on the next one cheers